I tend to, um, I don't know, steer away from like maybe traditional um, mediums and images and things like that. Um, I tend to work on panel so I can kind of get a little aggressive with it. Um, just cheap wood panel. I have no idea the archivalness of my work. It's, who knows? It'll outlast me probably, but that's about it. Um, drywall compound, um, spray paint, mist tint, house paints. I love. Get a gallon of it for five bucks. Quart for fifty cents. Remix, 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 remix. I like to work cheap and easy, and kind of common. Um, that speaks um, to me more than um, than any other sort of. Thing. I mean, I love oil. I love all other different kinds of mediums, people who can do it well, and people that that speaks most um, for them, but um, mist tint house paints and spray paints and Sharpie markers and stubby pencils and grubby erasers and things um, speak well for, for me. Um, and I tend to, well, I was gonna say paint, but it's not really painting. Um, I've had I have people who paint who it's, it's not really painting, it's not really drawing, but I use paint and I use drawing and I use different things at my disposal, but it doesn't, I don't think, I call them paintings, but um, real painters would probably um, disagree on some levels. Um, I tend to um, draw the things that, um, that I kind of dwell on or obsess over or um, or I think highly of, or I, or I just keep thinking of, highly or not. Um, um, Rick had said something quite profound in the other room with, about um, drawing the figure without drawing the figure. Um, and I like to think that's what my art is, not necessarily the figure in general, but, but like my own individual person, um, a lot of art does that. It is kind of representative of me or you or us without necessarily including me or you or us, but it has different things that um, maybe represent us in a, in a certain environment or a certain feeling or a certain idea or attitude. Um, yeah. Um, any questions? Can you talk about your source material? My source material, um, I steal a lot, of, a lot of images from the interwebs. Um, I try to dig, well, like, this is from, like, this guy. He's from an old medical textbook from, I don't know, the 40s or something. So I do, like, old textbooks. Ooh, I like math um, and science. And, and so, like, a lot of my um, prep work is, like, laying out a grid kind of seeing where these lines intersect other lines and where this person is going to be placed in accordance with the other things. And um, so I do like that sciencey, mathy side of composition. Um, so um, science and math textbooks are kind of nice to have at hand. And there's usually always some nerd in there or something um, that I can include. This is my dad um, from when he was young. Um, but yeah, sometimes they're just wildlife books, or um, this is this is the corn cob water tower. Um, but I but I removed the the thing that the figure, if you will, of the corn cob tower, and just represented everything else other than that. Um, so that's over there by um, um, Seneca. Um, and, Right out school, that little intersection there on 12th and Broadway or whatever, kind of. But then I did a shipping crate and, and oh, of course, a big fish and um, <laughs> yeah, you know, just random things. Um, so yeah, it's my source material is kind of from wherever, kind of the same thing as my um, mediums, whether it's like just kind of whatever's at hand, like mist tint paints and, and kind of things I have laying around nearby. Um, but sometimes I try to dig deeper than the surface of usually recognizable stuff. If it is too recognizable, I'll try to 
um, kind of, I don't know, cover it up or block it out or, or make it a little more vague. I like to keep things a little vague. So having seen some of your other work, I know that fish are a common theme. Fish, um, common theme. So I, almost like an obsession for you. Yeah, it's an obsession. <laughs> so it's an obsession. could you could you elaborate a little bit on the the fish because you you have the the um, oh, I do. piece as well that also deals with fish. Could you just talk talk a little bit about your um, obsession with the fish? Image sure, and sure. I did. Symbol? Um, so fish. Like a lot of things, um, I was raised in a um, family where my mother was religious and my father was not necessarily, but he liked to fish. Um, the fish is oftentimes used as um, a religious symbol, um, as are palm branches or, or doves or birds of certain types. So I do kind of like to pull in certain religious iconography or symbolism and kind of twist or turn it, even a cross of sorts. Um, and f my dad, um, we fished a lot, he was a fisherman. Um, so there's a lot of nostalgia, a lot of, um, a lot of thoughts um, um, revolve and evolve and um, are kind of represented maybe myself as a fish, <laughs> maybe. So kind of teetering the line between like religious suffering and, and, um, and just kind of just natural out fishing with my dad, not worrying about any life other than this one kinds of things. So yeah, fish. <laughs>